continue our lesson for chapter 3 in which uh, in part 3 okay so in part 3 we will learn how can we make a resolution of a given force into a force acting at a given point and a couple okay so basically it's about how can you resolve the force into x or y component okay in order to calculate the moment uh, at a certain point or how can you turn it into a couple okay okay next part which is the resolution of a given force into a force acting at a given point and a couple okay so what does it mean the title is so long okay so what i can simplify here is actually any force any force acting on a rigid bodies we can move to any given point okay so for example uh, force here okay is located at point o okay so we can move this force into any given point for example we want to move this f into point a we can move it but we should provide a couple m is added where the value of a moment of the couple should be equal to the moment of f to uh, a moment of f about point a okay so i can simplify it to you so we can move it okay to point a as long as we provide a moment with the value which is similar to the value of the moment uh, towards that point okay from its original point okay so for example that the moment due to this force towards point a is actually equals to 5 newton meter uh, anti-clockwise direction okay so if we want to move this force to point A, we can move it, okay, F, but we should provide the moment where the value of the moment at point A is actually equals to moment that we calculate from here, okay? And in fact, inversely, okay, the force acting at A and a couple more may be combined into a single resultant force okay and the couple can be eliminated so for example after we move okay we want to segregate back again yes you can okay we can get one resultant force which is equal to the couple that we have before okay that's mean you can make it in, uh, from just now in a we say that this one can be turned into this one and this one also may return back into this form. Okay, so how can we do that? So let's learn it later. Okay. Okay, let's solve this problem. Okay, so let's read together. Okay, so a 30 Newton vertical force P, so this force is actually the value is 30 newton okay is applied to a to the bracket shown here okay which is held by screw at b and c okay so replace p with an equivalent force couple system at b okay which means that we want to move p to b so with the equivalent force couple system at b okay and the second one okay for b find the two horizontal forces at b and c that are equivalent to a moment of the couple obtained in part a okay so for example p uh, in a we move this one to here so remember that if you want to move to somewhere equivalent to um we have to provide with a couples okay here so here if you want to move here so it will provide with a couple 
due to the this force towards this uh, point. Okay, and so we will have these certain numbers of force. Okay, so let's say a label is S M P. Okay, and for B and C, we should determine what will be horizontal force at B and C, which will form a couple, and this couple, okay, will produce, so I will just uh, write it out, uh, this couple will produce a moment, moment due to the force at B and C, will be equal to the moment that we get at B. Okay, so what you need to determine here, what will be the force here? Okay, so since we know that this one will be produced the moment in anti-clockwise direction, okay, so this one also need to be in anti-clockwise direction as well. The BC should be anti-clockwise, it's similar to MP. Okay, let's take a look at their solution. Okay, so for question A, we need we need to replace B with an equivalent force couple system at B. Okay, so it will look like this. Okay, the diagram is given like this and DB here is actually 5 cm. Okay, so we want to move P into B. So of course, as I said just now, that we can move any given force at, into, at any given point as long as we provide a moment. So similar to this, we have to provide a moment. So what will be moment at point B due to the force at P just now? Okay, so still the same method. We have to get moment at point B due to the force at P just now equals to F times with dB. So dB in this case is given from the equation which is 0 0.05 and F is actually 30 newton. Okay, then you can straight away get the answer. Okay, which is equals to 1.5 newton meter. So what about the direction of the moment? Okay, so just imagine that here is uh, like a wheel here. Okay, so you're just pushing down. Okay, what happened to the wheel? It will rotate into anti-clockwise direction. So that's why the moment that you get here is positive moment because it is anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's continue with part B in which that we need to find the two horizontal forces as at B and C that are equivalent to the couple obtained in part A. Okay, so basically we want to get what will be the two uh, horizontal forces which is a couple which produce the same moment that we obtain in A. Okay. So just to recall back, okay, so for A, it, actually we got the value already, the M here, okay. So um, basically, our target is we want to produce the same value and same type of moment, of moment that we get from A. So therefore, this couple should produce a moment same as in B that we get previously. So what will be the force needed in here? Okay. And the direction of the force. So for example, like you don't know yet what is the direction whether pointing to the right like this or maybe probably like this. Okay. So which one? This one or this one? Let's take a look. Okay. So firstly, okay. The moment that we get from B here is actually 1.5 Newton meter. Okay. So our target S, the couple here produce the same moment as we get in B. Uh, sorry, and as we get in A. Okay. So moment due to the couple, it should be 1.5 Newton meter. It is anti-clockwise, so it should be positive moment. Okay, so moment equals to F times T. Okay, which is equals to 1.5 and equals to 
Okay, so F value is the value that we are looking for. We want to know how much is the F, okay? And then, what is the distance between the these two couple? Okay, the, these are the distance here that we need. So, from the diagram, actually the distance is 0 0.03 meter, okay? So, after do some substitution, okay? And this one is 1.5. Okay, so you will get what is F and our F is actually 50 Newton. Okay, and then you determine which point should be uh, pointing to which point. Okay, so for example at B, okay, since our aim is we want to produce the positive moment. So our target is the rotation here should have Anti, uh, sorry, clockwise uh, anti-clockwise moment, okay, like this, okay. So, therefore, the moment on the top should be to the left and the moment on the bottom to the right, okay. So, you just substitute 0 0.03, okay, and you get the answer 50 Newton, okay. And then the direction of the moment, the direction of the force, okay, in order to produce this kind of the moment, you need to choose whether it to be in this direction. Because when you put the mom the couple like this, it will produce the moment in anti-clockwise direction as what we desired. Okay, from here. Right, that's it.